On starting Blender, a splash screen appears centered over the main interface, displaying a number of useful options. A quick launch recent list to previously opened projects, and a list of links to other Blender related resources. To exit and gain full access to the interface, left click anywhere on screen or press Escape. Running along the top of the application is the info header. To the right are the outliner editor and properties area, and running along the bottom is the timeline editor. Occupying most of the screen is the 3D view and the tool shelf sidebar. At the bottom of most areas is a header that contains menus, buttons and options related to the view and current action or activity. They are context sensitive, so tool availability changes based on the task being performed. This affects the header and the tool shelf and property sidebars. This essentially means each area has a dedicated region for buttons, menus and other functions, and a larger region within which a majority of work is performed, the type and significance of which depends on the task to which each area is dedicated. Creating a simple animation, for example, the cube is manipulated in the main area of the 3D view, whilst its position is marked to the main area of the timeline. With further control and modification also being possible, using the options and settings available within the properties area. Here, the same animated cube can be given additional properties. Its size changed, its surface colored or modified the results from which can be rendered at different sizes or exported to different third-party formats. This interdependence, the way Blender breaks projects down into editor-specific tasks, is fundamental to Blender's flexibility as an application.